Okay guys, welcome to this little YouTube clip. Um, what we're going to be doing today is quiring up the uh, the hive system to a Valiant. It's a Valiant boiler, it's the e uh, um, Ecotec Plus 831. Okay, so as you can see, it's all switched off, we've got we've powered off everywhere, and that's the power plug. Okay, so underneath the boiler, we've got this screw. So you undo that screw. Effectively then, lift the whole of the front of the boiler off. Okay, so once we've got the front of the boiler off, you literally just pull these clips like so, which lowers down the panel. Now, you'll see these, you've got one clip there, one clip there, one there, one there, and then a couple around the side. So, unclip the panel, like so. Exposes the PCB. Okay, so here's my hive, my hive box. I should just take it off and show you. Okay, so that's, that, that's our uh, electrical panel. Let's just lift this up for a second. Right, so from here we've got the power power lead. This power lead goes all the way up here. Okay, so this here is your power lead to your normal power. So if you look, you've got um, permanent um, neutral and permanent live. Okay, so what I've done is I've wired, there's two brown wires, so I've wired both those together, and two blue wires, so I've just used this as a connection purpose. The other, that th this other wire here is the wire for the boiler. Okay, so that goes all the way up, and that's the mains for the boiler. This wire, on the other hand, is our um, connection wire. This is what we're gonna connect into the boiler to make sure the hive works. As you can see, this is the hive panel, so, it may well be that you, all you've got is you've, you've just got a, a, a live brown and a, um, a neutral uh, blue in this situation and the earth. And all you're going to be looking at is two communication cables uh, to go back to the boiler. So number one on the hive is always going to be the common. So what we want to do is take the brown wire as, into, uh, as the common. And we're going to use this blue wire as number three. So I'll show you where exa exactly where these two wires are going to be situated now on the boiler. So if we open up the panel, so remember, we've got the brown and the blue, which is common, number one, and number three. Now they go into here, okay? So we, you, as you can see, we've got brown on the left and we've got blue on the right. Now, if you grab hold of these, you can just pull the whole that plug out, which enables you then to put the actual cables in, screw them in like that, to make it a lot easier for you. And then you can just push that, once you're done, you push that plug in. There shouldn't be a, um, a, a bridge connector. So as you can see, I've, I've taken the bridge connector out and just left it in the tray there. All right, so, so here's the actual, um, this is what you're looking at. You've got burner off, RT and bus. Over on the other side, you've got your live, neutral, and your earth. So this wire here, this, this other wire cable, is the one that connects up here, yeah? So you've got live and neutral. It's connected in there. Okay, so as you can see, that's, that's the connection made. So what I'm gonna do now, is put the case back on. to do is nice, nice and gently so you don't damage the clips just put that in push it in like so to make sure that those clips are all in there like that and we're going to take the actual yeah actual boiler right uh, the front link it over the top push it in the bottom we're going to go underneath here with our screwdriver and make sure that it's all give it a little push and make sure that it's all in tight. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get our hive box like that, clip it on the top, making sure those wires don't um, fail anywhere. And put any. We're going to. We've got those two screws underneath. So as you can see, I'm just going to do those screws up for a second. Here they are. So put applying a bit of pressure. Okay, 
Tighten those two screws up. Like so. Okay, so that's all systems go. Now the moment of truth. Turn on the power. This is what you should, you should see. It will say loading in there. I don't know if you can see that. So it's 30 degrees and we've got bar pressure. Over here we've got the green light now on the hive. Yeah. So we'll just wait for a second. Once it goes through its initial fire up stage. There we go. Now you can see the boiler firing up. So that is your hive install. That's your hive hub install. The rest of the install when it comes to the um, internet based stuff is really quite straightforward and the instructions are with the box.